I don't like the word spoopy, but this place doesn't look exactly, you know, welcoming. I'm gonna die today, aren't I? <laughs> Welcome back to The Greater Good, where last time we learn of Smoke's little dark past, but also we also get to find out that Kaya is with us to her journey, and she has not left us, so thank freaking god. But, without another mention of other details, let's get a move on, buds! <laughs> Once again, there's no sound, so that's already a little bit suspicious enough. But we're in some sort of civilization already, and I'm a little bit curious. Anyone? I should pro I probably shouldn't take their stuff. There's a note on the bed. Dear Sandy, will you go out with me? Please check one. Beneath the text are two check boxes. Aww. Well, I don't want to steal now, but I'm taking the thing either way. Knight's Ring. Let me check what that does first. A few inches later. Yeah, I just went into the items. Yeah, I'm taking that item. Sorry, not sorry. But <laughs> have fun without your item now. Yeah. Ooh, maybe there's some more items in here. Anyone in here? There Oh, it's a little shop. Now I feel bad for stealing. Yay, to sigh. The Great Ruffini, a master of all things tome. I see you four will be valuable customers. Please take this as a token of our new partnership. Fart. Thank you. What is the Great Ruffini does, you ask? Why? I can combine certain tomes, of course. If you have two maxed out level 5 tomes, there's quite a good chance I can combine them. Each combination will also require an additional 2,000 gold. Jesus Christ, that's a little expensive! But, you received a new tome, along with keeping the two that were combined. That makes a lot more sense now. Now, how can I help you? I mean, I want some more information, I guess. Yay. But the great Ruffini does not talk. But instead, he meditates. You will find the town folk down at the Mead Hall more willing for that. Oh, thanks. I got nothing else. Until next time. Traveler. Okay, I'm just gonna run away now. A little bit creeped out, but nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's get to the next place. Don't know what I'm expecting, really. I should probably equip that freaking element to someone. Yeah, Kaya, do you even have fire magic? You do. Yeah, I might as well give you the fire to him. It only makes sense. But this music is... That's a whole lot of people. Oh boy. Hi guys. Guest. 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 <laughs> I have no idea what I ran myself into. But hi. We're well, always happy to welcome guest. And guess what the wolf whom speaks. Now I've truly welcomed them all. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So, you lot think there's some elemental seed store here? The statue you mentioned is just out the back of this building. But I've been here a thousand times. Don't even remember finding any seed. <laughs> I'll let you hop on back there and give it a good look. But after, would you honor us by joining us for our weekly feast? You came just in time. <laughs> Thank you for the kind welcoming. 
We'll gladly join your feast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well then, upon your return, we shall toast to your discoveries. <laughs> oh, well, uh, oh yeah, a little shop here. Do you have anything useful? I'm the brewman, Kevin. Need anything? Uh, no. I don't think I do, because I've been picking up a lot of stuff. Enjoy the feast, outsider. <laughs> well, thank you. Anything relevant to say? King Marcus has been through a lot these past 10 years. But he truly only wishes to see his people happy. Oh. Okay, you're a good king. First, the statue. Then, the feast. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You got anything else to say? Don't be bringing any of your city problems up here. No promises. This town was nearly destroyed a decade ago. Uh, no promises. You clearly don't know who I am. Travelers, you must have many stories. You made it all the way to Ember. Perhaps you've been to a small island just south of here. Dangerous place or so I'm told. Okay. But, but let's try to find this dang seed. I'll take that save, thank you very much. Save port 2. Cause, yes. What's in here? No time to rest just yet, okay. So we're gonna stay here probably, but good thing I saved. Um, where's the seed? There's like no trees here. I guess it makes sense that it was destroyed. That was the statue. Am I gonna have to fight something? Oh god. <laughs> That's this dang statue. In my nightmares. Love that. So this is the statue you keep dreaming about, Flint? Creepy. It's a monument to the sorcerer Oda. Thrown from here with the ashes of the good sorcerer Oda, and all those of his blood whom have perished. It's a gravestone. Creepy. Well, I don't see any seed. Maybe... Perhaps Flint will be able to find it. Well... Has to be here some... Was the seed in me? The statue! What's happening? Am I meeting Oda? Okay... Hi? I have... Can I go back? No. It looks like I can't. I thought there might be some treasure. But no. Who exactly are you? Other than Oda, which I'm guessing you are. My vision dims. My voice weakens. But still, you have found me. How... How I've missed you. I am... Proud of you, Flint. Take it, the seed. The elemental seed. That's it? Please, I ask of you one last burden. To restore the elemental tree. I'm sorry for leaving you, my son. I am your daughter, or father. I don't know which, you never establish yourself as 
never established yourself as a boy or a girl, but thank you either way. Well, did you get it? I got the seed. Well, I'll be Bessie's uncle. There were voices speaking to me. It sounded as if they had known me. Was it Oda? No, Flint. Those voices must have belonged to your parents. When Crow began his campaign to end magic ten years ago, he first sought out to eliminate your family. And he knew they were hiding here in Ember. Your family heard of Crow's imminent arrival, so they hid you. You were placed at an orphanage within the town. How the heck do you know this? Crow came and destroyed Ember. And murdered what he believed to be the last of your bloodline. When he left, he took with him anyone who would be able to train to fight. This is how you wound up within his army. You've known this the whole time? I arrived to walk through the wreckage and heard whispers of Flint's true fate in the townsfolk. That's when you found my mom. Correct. It was then I felt... I felt I was given my purpose. Why the tree hadn't allowed me to sleep after the Great War. To find you, Flint. To right my wrongs. For that, I thank you. I think we can all be th all thankful for how well everything's worked out so far. Yeah! Shall we join King Marcus's feast? Let's go. Dang. My parents were here and they brainwashed me. They must have. Dang. Flint, I'm sorry for you, but okay. I heard I heard music. I got really scared. It's like very tribal and that scared the heck out of me. Hey King. Talk already. So, will you consider joining us for the feast? Sure. Hoo <laughs> hoo! And then we get to enjoy yourselves. Although I wouldn't ex I wouldn't say I would enjoy myself after learning that. So you really found something back there. <laughs> that must mean that you are indeed a descendant of Oda. <laughs> I knew you would eventually return. Should recognize you earlier, but that was 10 years ago, you see. That also must mean you've heard of this town's destruction. <laughs> yeah? Your parents were very, truly good people, Flint. Very, they're more than just very. I miss them dearly. You knew them? Of course. Been king here half my life. There's something else you should know. Huh? Crow's my brother. <laughs> king Crow's your brother? That's right. My baby brother. <laughs> Growing up, he started following the wrong people, you might say. Are talking about all these conspiracies and what have you. One day, little Boga just disappears. And then, as I change your voice, <laughs> a few years later, he returned with an army. <laughs> that was a difficult day. It's bad, maybe he did. <laughs> C 
called himself Crow, too. That's not even his real name. It's Arnold. <laughs> little Arnie, we used to call him. Silly little bugger just thought Crow sounded better, I guess. Can't you tell him to stop all this? Well, no. <laughs> He's lost now, you see. Far too wrapped in his own head, hoo hoo. I'm sorry. Hmm. So, am I to presume you are Cayenne, Pia's daughter? How's your mother these days? Ah, uh, she's fine, dude. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Just like her at a young age, I see. Would you kindly tell her Marcus sent her his best wishes? And you, in green, what's your story? To be honest, I'm just here because I'm not a big fan of your brother. I also happen to get stuck a long way from home. <laughs> that is true. Well, aren't you all just the most marvelous group? <laughs> I thank you for all being guests at our feast. Was an honor. You're welcome back anytime you wish. The guest room is down the hall when you decide to call it a night. I mean, I guess so, right? What else can we do? We had our little feast. Let's just have a little bit of rest. What's the worst that can happen, right? Other than death and murder and loss. You know what? We have a lot to lose, actually. <laughs> Am I gonna have a different nightmare this time, though? Some- Okay, maybe something different. Same sound. S current place. Demon. Mother of God. You're really gonna get. God dang it. He knows where I am. What is it, man? Where's Kaya and Smoke? You done pissed me off. That's odd. This doesn't feel right. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. King? My brother did not deserve to die. I know in my heart he truly believed in good. But sometimes he must make sacrifices to achieve a vision. As I also change your voice. <laughs> sacrifices for the greater good. Yo, pay for this. Yeah, we're gonna teach you a lesson, old man. An old lesson. An old man lesson. You have undoubtedly beaten me to the element to seed. Perhaps I place too much trust in the demon Rexus. But the seed is of no hope. God. Where is he? In a day's time, we will wage war against Lumos. And as we speak, my great machines take to the skies. And the greatest machine of them all... What is this? <laughs> what is this? The Capitol building itself. You! A mobile fortress unlike anything seen before, as I remember that text. <laughs> 
you son of a gun. I'm gonna kill you! Soon, the frozen city will be burnt to the ground. But first... The seed must be destroyed. Here we go! Yeah, yeah, demons right there. Cool, cool, definitely cool. Uh, how do we take care of everybody? Wolf pack. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Smoke, even though you're not in my party. To the shuttle, <laughs> now! We got away, I guess. Do we just run? Run, fool! Flint, catch up! Go! Go, son! Go! Wherever you need to go, go home now. Go to Lumos, go to... Wherever you need to. Just run! Just keep running! Go! Go! Don't look back! Board! Run! Board and run! Hurry up! Yes! See you later, suckers! Ha ha! You're not getting the seed from me! That sounded wrong, but you're not getting this seed? Who do you think you are? I'm gonna kill Crow, I swear. Crow is gonna be defeated one day or the other. He's gonna have his day. He's gonna have his day. Well, thanks to Smoke, you still have the seed. So I guess that was a success. Uh, success? Half that town just got murdered! And Lumos is under attack! We gotta get back and help the city! Like, now! But who can- What was that? Our escape wasn't as easy as we had hoped. Prepare yourselves. Yes, wolf pack damages all enemies. That skill might be very good. Uh, adjust party. I'm gonna switch Kaya with Smoke, just because Smoke has that new attack. And I really wanted to use Kaya today, but... Doesn't look like that's the case. Here we go, boys. Let's try this. Another ranged battle. Looks like it. Um, oh. What is that freaking di dangling sword? E oh my god. Okay, fine. Elements. Let's. I don't have any. I don't have anything good. Okay, fine. We shall regen everyone. Range battles are not my thing. Shoot, I should have switched out Flint for... Nah. This is a mistake. Large damage to one enemy. Yes. Does that do something? How much... We gotta check how much thing this thing has health. That was not even a sentence. Okay, do not use Flint's thing. Okay. I, sh I really need freaking Kaya here. Oh, man. I, okay, I have an idea now. Skills. No, nothing. Okay, that, that was a waste of, of a turn, but that's okay. Use that on yourself, buddy. Okay. Javelin. How much health does that make me lose? Okay, it was a good bit, but elements. Make sure everybody heals. Uh, small grouping spell. Make sure everyone heals up at least a little bit. Skills. Defense brick, yes. Anything the freaking defense brick, this guy. We'll take anything we can get. Alright. I really wish that I switched out Flint for Kaya here. Because that was very bad. Precision cut. How much damage does this do? Good bit? Oh yeah, that did a good bit. Alright, Marlo, do your thing. 
Oh, that was a nice crit. A cannon. Okay, Flint, that's okay. Uh, elements. Just heal up, uh... Slow cure. Smoke. Smoke should be okay. Elements. Shadow. Precision cut. Use it! Kill it! Is it enough? Oh, he's close. He's very close. Flint's almost dead. That's okay. We need something. I'm just gonna make sure that Flint stays alive. Very safe than sorry. <laughs> and smoke attacks. Ah, uh, skills. Nothing. Wait, health drain. Steal HP. Maybe that'll do something. Take all of the health. Yes! That was a lot more helpful than I thought, but useless at the same time. Goodbye! Back away, please. Stop following me. Yep, 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 yep. Bye bye, sir. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of fresh air right there. We're good to go. We're all back to health. Full health, it looks like. Nice. Nice. I'm just worried of what's next because it looks like we're gonna have another battle in our hands. Thank you for the electric tome. Flint reached level 18. Marlon reached level 18. Smoke to reach level 19. English is hard. <laughs> Are we good? Hopefully. Oh, God. There's more. Hi, I guess. Crow's fleet. Good thing we got a pilot. Let's get back to Lumos. I guess we'll be taking that sucker now. Thankfully. My gosh. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that. You have a jab of my kings and queens. And that will see you soon. <sighs> this just got pretty intense. Crow, you have one warning left. You know what? No, no, no. You're dead. You're going to be dead the next time I see you. And that is not a warning. That is a promise. I'm coming after you. You're fine. So fine. But the question is, what will it take to make you mine? Where have you been for all this time? I question myself, how come this beautiful thing ain't mine?